a little time after Steph did her first appearance on the couch. Oh, no, the second appearance, sorry. Can you get the bus? It's very precarious. Oh, it's, ti- it's time for... It- oh, sorry. Okay. You're only supposed to blow off the bleeding doors. Um, time for Steph Johnson to come back, eh? End of the Italian job, there's a bus hanging off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. That's the reference. Finn got it. I did get it. it was yeah. just, is that meant to be Michael Caine? It was just now? shit. Niche. It was just... That was good. It was niche. You got it, and you just looked to me like I'm a cunt. Nice one. That was the joke. <laughs> You're so, only supposed to blow off the bladed doors. I'm not going to name this guy, but I'm assuming what? he's a regular listener. Could be what? a girl. No, it's not a man. Oh, it's not. It's obviously a man. Wait, I'm just trying to keep it different. <laughs> or an uncle. Um, so, he messaged Steph. Hey, Steph, I think you're gorgeous. Would love to take you out. Nice. And she's like, ah, thanks. I'm not dating at the moment. And he said, I didn't think he'd reply. Just been watching you on Adam's podcast. Ooh. Nice. Nice right, 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 right. Now I'm offended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking horrible cut so let's she said then you'll know why I'm not dating so it must have been just after the uh, the second appearance where she talked about uh, Rudy so if you haven't seen that episode go back to the bonus episode with Steph Johnson it's her second appearance on the couch Steph Johnson bonus episode she told us all about this catfishing uh, cheating cunt guy thing uh, you'll really enjoy it it's it one was of explosive our best so that Easy. was that was a uh, that was on Five days later, uh, I don't want to say exactly when it was. Five days later, uh, he messaged Steph again and said, Hey, Steph, how's it going? Andy is smashing it, isn't he? Now, I don't know who Andy is. And she put, he is. And this guy replied, uh, text me with his number. Be nice to be pals. You seem a good laugh. What's at me? I'm not a weirdo. Could go for a walk and a coffee as pals. Nice. And she said, no, you're all right, but thanks. And he said, how's your night been? Now, that's where the conversation ends. Is this on Instagram? This is on Instagram DM. This is the chat of Tinder, in it? That's Tinder-based, like, meh. Yeah. Now, the problem with it is um, two hours ago today, this guy uploaded a picture of him and his heavily pregnant wife. Oh, dear. And if you go back, like, at the time... Uh, in November and August, uh, there's pictures of him with said lady. Cha! Cha! Now. Cha! 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 I'm if you're going to do this to the woman you love who's going to about to shit out your kid, right? Technical term. <laughs> it's just a bit stupid to do it so blatantly, isn't it? To have it written down in black and white whilst there's pictures of your missus tagged. Like... He's very lucky because I spoke to Steph and said, tell her. And Steph said, I'm done with telling uh, women after what happened with Rudy because Rudy's, uh, spoiler alert, Rudy's missus stayed with him. She's like, and I ended up looking like the gobshite. So I'm not doing it anymore because she'll just stay with him and she's heavily pregnant and it could cause problems with the pregnancy due to stress and stuff like that. Um, That's a great shout. So I'm not going to tell her. But fuck me. How stupid have you got to be? He knows who he is now, doesn't he, watching this? Yeah. You know who you are. But that's proper, like, uh, self-destruction, isn't it? Because he knows it's so easy for all that to come out. It's fucking slimy, but it's not even, like, clever slimy, where you're like, some guys are just perma-shaggers, aren't they? They're like, they cannot stop trying to shag. And like, me, 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 me. But to do it to Steph Johnson, who is vociferously anti slime ball. Like, all her, her chat regarding the opposite sex online is basically like, men are really scummy sometimes, aren't they? Some of the douchebags that message me to be like, yeah, I've seen that, but i got to shoot my shot. Yeah. <laughs> got to shoot my shot. No, I'm not coming into an appointment. Go to your own appointments. Got to shoot my shot. Like, not, Steph. Not at all, ideally. You've had a stinker, lad. Damn. What if he knows? Just playing devil's advocate. What if he knows... The baby's not his. The baby's not his. He's got evidence. Maybe we're slagging this lad off. But he already knows... Yeah. ...that someone else has come in as missus. It's Leroy's. And that's... Yeah. Well, cool. If you want to represent the fucking pedo in the courtroom, that's, you can, but... Is that a well-known phrase? <laughs> it's well-known. <laughs> Someone's a very got, American phrase. Someone's got a, a pedo someone's in the courtroom. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring it over here. Some, 
<laughs> Someone's got to rep- represent. Someone's going to give counsel to the pedo. No, you don't want to be on this. Like, I know you're playing devil's advocate, but he's, it's not good, is it? What if, right? Mm-hmm. What if she was like, we won't have a baby. I don't want a baby. And like, I'll be on the pill. And he, she's trapped them. Ooh. Does happen. It does. We'll just leave her then. What if she's like threatened to kill his entire family if he leaves? Yeah. Does happen. Yeah, it does happen. I'd try and fuck Steph Johnson then. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm starting to see it from your point of view. <laughs> and that's how pedos get off. Because of Wait, fucking mega minds. Oh, it's not. It's just a things like hypothetical, isn't it? Hypo- I'm, just, I'm sure we've sort of touched on this before. If you had a lawyer, could you morally represent someone you knew was guilty? Well, it's that's that's justice, isn't it? Real justice means someone's got to have legal counsel, and someone's to to convict them honestly. They have to be represented fairly. So at some point, you're like, this guy's murdered five people. But if he doesn't have representation, he can't be proved guilty properly. So it's you have a, a like a to your, zealously a moral, represent your not client. zealously but fairly and it's literally like, the oath you sign to is zealous zealously represent your client wow. to the best of your ability. Wow, That's do you think he would do that? So someone's like, listen, lads, like, let's let's just pretend. to get them off on a technical. So I'm like, yeah, mate, listen, like, I've killed seventeen people. Yeah, right? no reason. Just went mad. Yeah. Got a bit out of hand one day. I'd had four Sambucas and two pints of Carlin. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. And I just went off on one. Carlin You're my that. lawyer. Right. How have I got the gig? What? How have I got the gig? You should a lawyer. Right. Is that how that works? Yeah. Just kill 17 people and ring 0800 fucking stupid lawyer. You owe my dad a favour. <laughs> so he's gone. Oh, right. shit. Well, I wouldn't represent you, but your dad's sound. Yeah, exactly. He's done some wallpapering for me, so <laughs> fucking, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So me dad is Sometime threat- you gotta represent the Peter with the car room. <laughs> Fact. Me, da- me dad is me dad's threatened you basically and said, I will fucking tear that wallpaper down if you don't represent my son. Wow. And you're like That sounds Fuck. like a big threat. But yeah. it's, it's also quite pedantic. <laughs> I will tear that wallpaper down. Yeah. But right, you, okay. you're looking at your wallpaper one day and you're like, Do you know what? There's no one in the world who can wallpaper this well. Like Mick Rowe. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't want to piss Mick Rowe off. He's so, a really nice bloke and dead friendly. So uh, I'm going to. But he can turn. I'm, I'm going to represent his son. Could you do it? Could you Could you call like people, someone's crying like, he fucking killed me, man. And you'd be like, you didn't. You haven't got a nan. You've never had a nan, have you? You're lying. Could you do it? Could you zealously represent <laughs> a, a serial killer? I mean, it's probably a bit like gigging in Hull, in it? No. You know, when you're like, as a circuit comic, there are gigs you want to do and there's places you want to be. And there's sometimes where you're like, oh, God, it's 140 quid on a Wednesday. I don't feel like this is going to be a one-day trial. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, in every in every job, you have to play the game a little bit. Like, the absolute, like the fucking top class. In, in law, in being a solicitor, in being a lawyer... I'm sure there's like, you know, like TV credits levels. They don't have to do these gigs because people who kill 17 people usually aren't wealthy, are they? It's state. Um, I'm a billionaire in this. Oh, oh you're you. A, oh. Yeah, I'm a billionaire. So there's a billionaire. Who's killed 17 people because he had two pants of car and four something. So I can name my price hourly rate. Yeah. I can be like, it's a grand an hour. Yeah, that's Yeah, low. I'm in. I'm all right. I'll be all right. Low. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, even if, so if you look, obviously you lose and you still have to pay me. Yeah. It's yeah. called a retainer. Nice one. I think I could, for the sake of justice, I could swallow my pride. Could you? And zealously. What for? What if I was like, like throughout the whole thing while like the prosecution's giving evidence? I just keep going to you. If you get me off, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and who knows who's next? Yeah. I How think, did you make your billions, by the way, murder boy? Like, uh, just out of interest in this hypothetical. You're clearly like an absolute psycho. He's killed I won 17 the Euro millions and right. then went to the casino and put all of it on Black 11 and it came in. Fuck me. <laughs> wow. You are one lucky cunt. And it's casino a, paid I out. Can't, I can't believe you didn't get away with any of those 17 murders. <laughs> won the Euro millions, took the whole lot, went down to Euro HQ in fucking Brussels, got me money, came back. 
went down the Mecca or whatever casino, twatted it on casino. Black. Well, I don't even. The Leo it's Casino in, on the docks. Mecca, yeah. Leo Casino on the docks. And I put three hundred and fifty million on eleven. Could you imagine the the twenty three year old who's just got his like gambling license to be at the table? Like, I'm gonna have to speak to my supervisor. <laughs> no, fuck your supervisor. One hundred and forty seven million <laughs> on black. Black eleven. Black eleven. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite number. Yeah. Right. So that's how I got me billions. Yeah. I don't know. I think sounds you like that, sounds think... like a bag of shite. But I think it's part of the deal with being a lawyer. I think you've just got to fucking... I think you've got to do it. I mean, I ideally do it on a retainer. Mm. But yeah, you're not going to be, feel good about it, are you? Or yeah. are you just going to... Are you going to go, I can't do it. This guy's an absolute psycho. Yeah. Well, if you don't represent me, I'll kill you. And you but then it's just mistrial, so someone else has to do no, it. So if, you th- if it's a threat to life, you can then tell the police. Yeah, and I just got didn't threaten him. Yeah. Right. I went against this if, new if, trial. If some, <laughs> if some, this is getting more convoluted, isn't it? Yeah. The murder trial. I just keep threatening people and saying I didn't. The murder trial will get delayed forever. And I've Give got it. enough money to be out on bail. And I just keep killing people. I think they'd refuse bail. Beating Why? the system. If you kept threatening lawyers. <laughs> but Beating the system. In the eyes of the law, I'm innocent until proven guilty. You can't prove I've threatened any lawyers. No, but they can just I'll say, say it no. under my breath. So even if you've got to record it, it wouldn't. Like, even if that mic was there. You've won. Yeah. Have you seen the Lincoln lawyer, Dan? Is that with Mah- Mah- McConaughey? Similar to that, isn't it? Like the, shh, shh. the battle between... <laughs> That's my Matthew McConaughey impression. <laughs> That's how he speaks, isn't it? Liar. Yeah. I'm a liar. <laughs> Why is what S on the end of that? an impression. Yeah. <laughs> Sausages. Can you say... Is uh, Matthew McConaughey the pedo in the courtroom? Is this <laughs> is this his new film? Can you say Stephen Gerrard sizzled some sausages? Stephen Gerrard sizzled some sausages. Uh, <laughs> us. <laughs> That's me, Matthew us. McConaughey. It's quite a good McConaughey. <laughs> Imagine if he did that in The Wolf of Wall Street. If Scorsese was like, right, we're going to do this scene in the restaurant this morning. We've got a young Leo DiCaprio. Ready? Uh, 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 <laughs> Matt, don't do that last bit. You were doing that well. Also, you're weirdly thin because of Dallas Buyers Club, but could you not do that? Uh, 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 it worked out quite well that he did Dallas Buyers Club at the same time as Wolf of Wall Street, though, didn't it? Because no. in Dallas Buyers Club, he had AIDS, which makes you skinny. And in Wolf of Wall Street, he's a coke addict, which makes you skinny. No, he looked terrible in yeah. in Wolf of Wall Street. You could tell it was a small part. that was He was having to cut so much weight because of Dallas Buyers Club. He looks ill in Wolf of Wall Street. Like, I don't, like ideally, you shouldn't ever be thinking, he's thin because of the film. Yeah. No, but like he could have just been a coke addict. Yes, it's true. I mean, he was having cocaine, cocaine and whatever, yeah. Tom Collins for breakfast. Yeah, exactly. So... House. Yeah. And he was wanking House. for three times a day. Those are rookie numbers. No, twice a day, innit? At least twice a day. Um. <laughs>